Uh, I guess when that green light comes on, it's time to fry. I'm recording for YouTube. You want to be on camera? No. No? No. Oh. And I'm frying them in cornmeal. Oh, yeah. Um. <laughs> it's fish. Brim, to be exact. So what do you like? Well, well, this is brim and red breast. <laughs> some of them, some of these are so small they're not even worth frying. But oh, that's um, that's pot roast for later. Why are you coughing? <laughs> Oh, go away, I don't want to catch it. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess first step is to pour cornmeal into this thing. I'm doing this one-handed. Not easy. Do you know who um, gave us these fish? I'm just wondering like, why they kept, you know, small ones. I mean, I'm gonna cook them anyways, but okay. And season pepper, black pepper. I guess I'll just keep the seasoning simple, just salt and pepper. I don't think there's any need to throw in too much shit. And I'm just going to season the cornmeal. I'm not going to bother with seasoning the fish. Just a touch of flour. NASCAR is on the television, which I really don't like NASCAR. Damn it, can't get the bag open. So I don't know if I should dip these fish in egg and then in the cornmeal. <coughs> That's the way I do chicken. I'm not really familiar with cooking fish like this. Normally when I cook fish, it's, you know, from the supermarket already, like filleted and everything. And this is Always want to double check, make sure you get all the scales off and shit. Especially like around the tail, a lot of times I'll miss miss that part. As a matter of fact, I think I feel a little bit. Yeah. 
I should do it. Now my hands are wet. <coughs> so I can't pick my fucking phone up. Just a second. <coughs> Alright, now they're dry. Like that. And make sure you check every fish before you put it in the cornmeal. Don't want scales. Yeah. yeah. I got all the guts out. Okay. And you want to double check that too. Er I haven't done this since I was a kid. Well, I've never fried bone-in fish before. Well, not fish with the bones in, but as far as like cleaning them and stuff, it's probably been about 15 years. No, I take that back. I caught a mess of catfish when I was in Wisconsin. And I cleaned those, but... I had to go on YouTube and look up how to clean catfish. <laughs> because I'd never, never caught them before. Who caught those? You don't know? No. Where did you get them from? They were given to us. Here's one of the small ones. I wouldn't even kept that one. Okay, well, I'm going to end this video here and I'll come back when I have more done or when the oil is done heating up. Later.